99 people have died in Australian waters over the summer. The surf life-saving drowning report also shows there were more than 5,700 rescues across the country. Joining me live is Chris Jacobson from Surf Life Saving Australia. Chris, thanks for coming on the program. Um, how do you look back at the summer um, in contrast to summers before? Thanks for having me on the program this morning. So it's certainly been a very big season. As you mentioned, we've had over 5,700 rescues conducted by Surf Life Savers right across the country. And unfortunately, this summer period, we saw 99 deaths occur across, uh, across Australia. And when we break that down into the coastal environment, 55 of those occurred. And we look at previous years, we, we know that uh, fatalities numbers are up. Uh, particularly in the regional and remote areas. And when we start to unpack that, we're seeing an increase of fatalities occurring in, in that environment uh, com compared to, to previous summers. Now, look, there's still warm weather. People are still swimming and that'll happen for quite some time. Uh, what is the tip? What, what are people missing out on, do you think, at the moment with the message? Look, the, the biggest tip that we can give is around rips. And the important thing to do is, where possible, please always swim between the red and yellow flags because we know that they are the safest locations for you to be if you're choosing to go to that aquatic environment. If you're unable to swim between the red and yellow flags, then it's really about understanding where those rips are and, and that's where the education is a really key focus for us and uh, for, for surf life savers right across the country so if you're going to that that location uh, stop look to see if there's any rips in that area then then look for any other hazards that might be present and then plan on on how you're going to stay safe so have you got a plan with your family for if someone is caught in that rip uh, and then what you're going to do uh, when, when they are in the rip and, and what tools that you might have to assist you. And Chris, is it one of those simple things also that if there are no flags, moderate your behaviour, stay at a point where you can actually stand up? Because as soon as you get to a, a point where you're out of your depth, you are out of your depth. Yeah, it's a, it's a really good question because uh, absolutely, uh, when, when you're not near the flags, uh, the environment can change very, very quickly. So what we know is what might look to be a, a safe spot and swim. Uh, there could be a, a ledge, there could be a gutter at the beach where you're walking into, it may drop off very quickly. So uh, best best advice is to ask around, uh, to check, check with some locals of what the environment's like and then make sure that uh, you, you are testing the water before you go in to, to check that it is safe. Yeah, and there's no bad question or wrong question, is there? Just ask the people, ask the experts when you're at the beach. If you, if you don't know something, that's what they are there for. We have some wonderful people who, of course, are employed, others that are volunteering. Yeah, absolutely. So... Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of uh, surf life savers right across the country uh, that, are, that are giving up their time to make sure that uh, people are having a safe and enjoyable summer. Uh, we, do, we do know that uh, people are choosing to go to that, that remote location or are choosing to engage in a lot of other activities. And uh, when we look at the paddle sports, to the rock fishing, uh, to boating, they are, again, it's a beautiful environment across Australia and as we've talked about, the weather is still warm and, and people are enjoying being out and about. So that's where we just need to make some smart decisions uh, when we're choosing to undertake those sort of paddle sports activities, wearing a life jacket and making sure that that life jacket mm. is fit for the, purpose for the activity you're planning to undertake. Absolutely. Chris, thanks for coming up uh, on the program. Thanks for getting up so well. It's uh, really important information. No worries. Thanks for having me.